Hey guys, welcome to my channel! This is a Twin Flames reading for the week of April 4th. Messages from Divine Masculine. Happy 4-4, everybody. Happy 4-4. Happy Saturday. Hope you're having a super weekend already. And if you're not, I'm going to help you with that. I will cheer you uh, up. I will cheer you uh, up. <laughs> cheer up, Divine Feminine. It's not all bad. I know many of you watching are likely deep in the throes of the dark night of the soul. And I was there. Oh, buddy, was I there. Six long months. Life just churned on and on and on and on. And it seemed like there would be no end to the suffering and desperation. And for the first, you know, two months, you don't even realize you're like, I, I don't know. It's like, it, it just doesn't occur to you how unusual your behavior is. You're just so concerned with this person. And then you're like overcome by the obsessive thinking. That definitely doesn't help. Well, anyway, eventually you do pull out of it. So if you're there, not to worry, my friends, it does get better. Oh, yes, it gets much better. And I'm happy to assist you with that. As the world's leading Twin Flame coach, my favorite thing is helping you feel amazing. Not just feel better, not just get you to pull out of the dark night of the soul, but actually to emerge from the ashes, a reborn amazing butterfly, a unicorn in a world of darkness. That's you, divine feminine. That's who you are. That's what this journey is all about. I know that sounds strange, but this is actually the best thing that's ever happened to you. That sounds crazy. I know. But it's the best thing that's ever happened to you. I promise. Now, why is this happening? Kurt, if this is the best thing that's ever happened to me, why the f how, how the heck can that be? Why the F is this happening? If this is supposed to be so good... Why do I feel so bad? Well, I'll tell you what. The addictive, duality-based, or as many often call it, fear-based energy of the ego, its job is to separate you from who and what you really are. And that's okay. But... It's time for you to live that way no longer. Divine Feminine, it's time for you to awaken. It's time for you to live consciously instead of unconsciously. So, your twin flame, who, by the way, is the other half of your soul. You are one soul with this person. Everybody knows that. So, it's your soul, it turns out, that is causing all this to happen, it has to shut down the ego. And when the ego shuts down, it is a bitch. Oh, is it painful? Oh my goodness. It hurts, guys. It really, really hurts. In traditional Zen spiritualism, they actually call it ego death. And they say, yes. It's as if you have to die before you die. Well, it's the identity entity, as I often call it, the ego personality, right? Who you used to believe constituted the self. And when you're in the throes of ego death, also known as dark night of the soul, you do experience a sense of meaninglessness. Yes, because... The ego personality is melting away, washing away, ego death, dark night of the soul. 
the old sense of self, which was thought-based, where you used to derive your sense of self from is dying. And so you experience a feeling of meaninglessness. But again, this is not without purpose. This is your spiritual awakening. You will emerge from the ashes, a completely new an amazing person, reborn of fire. Look at this, guys. Divine Masculine, Ah, they're feeling it too. And actually, they're kind of at the end of their rope, aren't they? Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Poor Divine Masculine. Oh, feeling very defeated. Right. It's hopeless. You know, I, I, there's, it's like you feel like there's not even any point in going on. It's so hopeless that there's no use in even thinking that you can continue whatever struggles, terrestrial struggles, divine masculine finds themselves in. Now, that's a lie. Of course, you can continue. But this is like the ultimate self-defeat card. The Ten of Swords. Poor Divine Masculine. Well, you know what? As you awaken, so too does Divine Masculine. You know it's true, and that's what's happening to Divine Masculine, although they might not realize it yet. Okay, recent past. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, old news. We already knew that Divine Masculine is not putting the effort into life that they ought to be. They know what they need to do. They're just choosing to not do it. They're choosing to walk away from the responsibility of being their best, most amazing person. And that could be something as simple as leaving that shit job that they can't stand, getting out of a relationship that's not good for them. It could just be something very ordinary like that. And look at this, speaking of the devil, Towards the so-called karmic situation, the King of Swords in reverse. Next to the Two of Swords. Bingo, exactly. I know I've got a decision to make. And I'm going to go ahead and choose not to live my best, most amazing life. I'm going to run back to the complacency, the familiarity of the karmic situation. I'm going to retreat. Why would you do that? Because it's familiar. People don't like change. And that's just kind of what Divine Masculine was doing. This is recent past, of course. Okay, towards you, Divine Feminine, a little different. Six of Cups next to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So this, again, is the universe inviting Divine Masculine to be their best, most amazing self. Let go of those old cycles, okay? And it has a lot to do with you, Divine Feminine. They know that you have changed them. They don't always say so. My twin flame used to say things like that to me, and then she would ghost me. <laughs> Not anymore. We're in union now. But you underst I understand what this energy is, right? So this is, again, this is kind of a nostalgic, I appreciate everything, but I think I could do it on my own, you know? And that's, I guess you could say, a very masculine way of looking at things. Well, I don't need any help, so I'm just going to, yeah, mm, okay, mm, thanks, but I got to go. Mm. Yeah, okay, well, screw you too, dude. Don't ever ask me to ever do anything for you ever again, right? No, no, no. We love Divine Masculine. Now, current energy. We've got the Five of Swords in reverse. Mm-hmm. Some very interesting inner conflict some victories and some losses, but it's really, whatever it is, very petulant, very petty, okay? This Five of Swords energy, when it comes out in the reverse like that, and they are actually their own worst critic, it turns out, their own worst enemy, their own worst critic. That's what this is, guys. This is Divine Masculine really being hard on themselves right now, and maybe they ought be, but... Definitely Divine Masculine feeling like a giant truckload of horse manure. Oh, poor Divine Masculine. Now, why are they feeling that way? Well, that has 
everything to do with you, Divine Feminine. But first, the karmic situation, Four of Wands, the world in reverse. So, they're going to get some temporary relief. They might actually have a nice weekend or week this week in their situation. I don't know what it is. You know, they're going to make peace with the situation. Try to convince themselves that everything is going to be all right. But that's not it. Yeah, that's not it, Divine Masculine, you big dope. All this is going to do is kick the can down the road and you're going to go through the same tired old cycles you did before. And that's fine. We're going to let Divine Masculine wallow in the giant truckload of horse manure and learn their lesson the hard way. Now, what does this have to do with you, Divine Feminine? Well, it has everything to do with you. And take it from me. I'm the world's leading twin flame coach. My twin flame is permanently in my life. I've coached over 3,000 students, guys. So check it out. When I say it has everything to do with you, I definitely know what I'm talking about. Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Very interesting. Now, why is this happening? Why is this push-pull energy still lingering? That's what this is. This is this push-pull energy. I like you, but I got to go now. Oh, you mean a lot to me, but you don't. Oh, I love you. Oh, now I got to go. Here's a million excuses. Oh, I want to be talking to you again. Oh, I got to block you now. And just back and forth, all these cycles. Why is that? Well, Divine Feminine, it's very simple. You are one being. You and this person are one soul, okay? You are not one mind. Body, mind, soul, okay? You are the same soul. When you approach this through the mind, that's when they run away. There's a polarization at the level of the mind. And it makes sense because the mind is duality, guys. Up, down, left, right, hot, cold, past, future. Me, them, this, that. There's me and there's the other. So, you know, even watching these tarot readings, this might not be such a great idea, guys. Because what you're doing is you're saying that there is a they that you have to get a card reading about, right? That's why you get this push-pull energy. I want to see what they are doing. I'm going to go watch a tarot reading. Ah, exactly. There is no they. And the only way that you can grasp this is to go beyond the mind. That's the whole point of this journey, guys. You met the other half of your freaking soul. You got to do soul stuff. You have to transcend the mind. The mind is what views this like there is an other person. And there's not. There's absolutely not. You are one being, you and this person. And you can't figure out how that is true. It can only be experienced in those deep moments of inner Zen. This is your soul's journey, guys. This is a journey of being. And you are effectively, Divine Feminine, phasing in and out of that. That's why there's this back and forth energy between you two. That's why there's always been this push and pull. Because you're feeling this experience of consciousness. Just meeting your twin flame triggers that energetic breakdown of the ego and an awakening of consciousness. But... At other times, you slip back into unconsciousness, and that's not criticism. That's not your fault. You are human. This is the human condition. Everybody on earth is told you are your mind. We were all raised that way. It's the human condition. Everybody does it. Okay, but this is your calling. This is a call to you. This is the challenge to rise above the mind, increase your consciousness, and embrace that. And let me tell you something. When you embrace your spiritual journey instead of the person, that's when they show up. That's what's so crazy about this. It turns out you actually don't need to do anything about the person at all. You already are them. You just have to access that energetically. You release the ego mind personality attachment to the person. The attachment is attached to the person because the ego mind personality believes that there is an other person and instead you supplant that with your spiritual awakening consciousness the soul i am 
I exist. That's who you really are, guys. That's what this journey is all about. And that's what I teach you on this YouTube channel for free. You can go watch my other coaching videos. You can also sign up for my paid coaching. It's not expensive, guys. I don't charge thousands of dollars. It's only a few hundred bucks. You see all these other twin flame coaches out there and they charge you like a million freaking dollars. And many of them, they give you peanuts or they give you the soulmate template. They just call it twin flame. But it's this romanticized relationship template. And you guys, you already know that's not what this is, okay? You can cause the person to want to be with you, but that's not really the core focus of what this is. Bingo, that's the whole problem. Take it from me, guys, the world's leading twin flame coach. I've coached over 3,000 people. I'd love to help you too. Go to my website right now and sign up today for the introduction to the journey. A 10-hour instructional video course, I will give you action steps you can implement right now to align energetically with your soul, which is your twin flame. And remember what I said, you can't think your way there. This is not a journey of the mind. You're never going to figure this out. It's an energetic experience of experience, right? It's a soul thing, guys. Sign up for my video course. It's very inexpensive. When you're done watching the videos, you and I get to talk either in a one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting on my group coaching calls, the Get Your Twin Flame Spiritual Coaching System, up to four calls a week. Guys, that's like eight additional hours of coaching every single week. And it's not expensive, guys. It's so affordable. You can get a two-month free trial with your initial purchase right now. When you sign up for my gold package, sign up today, guys. It's only a few hundred bucks. So, so affordable. I'd love to help you too. And that's not all. If you still can't afford my already very reasonable prices, no problem. I do have payment plans. You can get started today for around $60, give or take, depending on which package you get. They're kind of in that neighborhood of $60. Silver, gold, sign up today, guys. I'll take the total package price and break it down into six easy to digest payments of around 60 bucks. So if you don't have $300, but you got 50 or 60, you can get started right now. You'll get full access to the videos, the calls, everything, the secret Facebook group, all up front. Sign up today, guys, at my website. Let's do this Oracle card. That took about one second. <laughs> that only took a second. Wow, okay, I'm just gonna double check. Just want to make sure. Yep, I'm not feeling shnikes. Yeah, yeah. I was right. I was right. In the first place. Oh, well, now that's interesting. Narrowness. The Nine of Crystals. That's a beautiful card. Look at those beautiful, amazing crystals. I love crystals. They call this a soulmate quartz because it's got the two tips. I call it a twin flame quartz because it's one crystal, two bodies. <laughs> right? Narrowness. The nine of crystals. Let's see what the book has to say about all this. Oh. Wands, worlds, cups, crystals, man of crystals, nine of crystals. There it is, nine of crystals, narrowness. Message, the hardness and impenetrability of the crystal, though conferring stability and power, also isolate it. Similarly, your mind may be closed, insular, and inflexible. The crystals represent bars, symbolizing the restrictions you have placed on your thinking, fixed and intolerant, you maintain a narrow-minded tunnel vision represented by the shrunken tunnels and apertures through which you view the world. Narrowing the mind, however, is essential to concentration. Keep your focus and go deeply into subjects. Be thorough and not distracted. Yes, divine masculine, now would be a good time for you to shift your focus and stop being so narrow-minded. This Ten of Swords, that sounds awfully painful, guys. Ten, sto ten Swords all shoved into the back. 
of Divine Masculine all at once. Ouch, 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 Divine Masculine. You are your own worst enemy, my friend. And that is exactly what this King of Pentacles is saying right now. You're not in charge of your own world. Things are spinning out of control. What are you going to do about it? I guess I'm going to cling to it for a while. Well, that's too bad. And of course, the pain is going to reach a fever trip, a fever pitch. Queen of Pentacles, but it's next to the Eight of Swords. So Divine Masculine, by the end of this week, they're going to feel stuck, trapped, locked. I can't get out. I don't know what I'm going to do. Divine Feminine, this is good news for you because it's going to break the bank. Divine Masculine is finally going to be forced to look at themselves in the mirror. The Queen of Swords in reverse, but it's next to the star. Exactly what I was just saying. Divine Masculine is going to be leveling up and they're going to recognize that you are the greatest gift. And whether they consciously say this or not, the greatest teacher, Divine Feminine, I can't live without you. They know that. And they know they've got some very important lessons to learn from you. So they're going to be barking up your tree very soon. But it's not going to be until after they learn some really tough lessons. But it's going to happen fast. Oh my goodness, Divine Masculine. Changes are coming, my friend. And they're going to come really quick. So grab your popcorn, Divine Feminine. And let's enjoy the show. Please hit the like button, guys. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon button when you subscribe because if you don't hit the bell button when you subscribe, you will not get notifications whenever I post one of my videos. I'll be back tomorrow for Divine Feminine. Have a happy Saturday, guys. Bye.